but your hard work goes back uh, in terms of your career to quite a lot of time spent in America. You were a bit of a football rock star over in the States. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, got the opportunity to go study in the US um, and my parents were always um, ones that you know, encouraged us to, to, you know, to get our education. Um, and I was all about like soccer, soccer, this, soccer, that. Um, and my dad was like, okay, you can get a gap year, but uh, after that you need to decide what you want to do with your life. And the opportunity came and I just went. I went, I, it was summer in South Africa when I left, so I was like in shorts and a t-shirt. And when I arrived in Chicago, I was like freezing. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? Um, and my coach came to pick me up in Atlanta um, and he was like, where's your clothes? Like I brought you all this, like here's a track suit. And so I put it on and we drove to Birmingham, Alabama. And that's kind of where I start, started my career off in, in, in the US. Um, I went to Samford University, not Stanford, and people <laughs> get that messed up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it so much. It wasn't just for me about, you know, playing soccer, but there was so much I learned about uh, myself um, and kind of where I wanted to go after football. Um, and my teammates were, were great. I felt at home. Um, I think it was a Southern hospitality. Very great time in my life. It was one of the best times, I think. Um, and I came back a changed person. I came back so, uh, a woman, I think, that you know understood where I wanted to go. Um, I had a voice, and, and, and I wanted to use that voice to help you know girls in South Africa, um, not just you know get into football, but I wanted to help them get to the U.S. if they wanted to study um, what they want. Because at the end of the day, you know, women's football is not as big um, in South Africa as we would like it to be, um, and we want to grow it.